We're going live. Turn yourself in, Tom. Tom, time to turn yourself in. Into a dinosaur. That's right. We go in dino today, baby. That's how you fix the NFL. Officiants, referees, commissioners, owners of the team, also ball boys, all dinosaurs. Send them back to the Metazoic period? Yes. Hey guys, guess what? Today's today's there's there's no plan. <laughs> We get your hand off my penis. This is the bike who got me on the penis, people. Penis. <laughs> you in the right direction. Welcome to another edition of the Grassy Perna Show. I'm Tom Grassy. That's Brandon Perna, and this is G P S. Yeah. What's going on? A very happy April to everyone. We've made it into a new month. We're officially like 25% done with the entire year. What do you have to show for it, Brandon? Oh, God. <laughs> I was not prepared for this question. Yeah, you know what? You thought that this was just going to be a breeze. You thought that this was just going to be a lackadaisical show. No. This is going to be reflecting on your oh, sins. No. Oh, God, no. Um, I'm a, I'm a good dad. I agree with that. I'm not even going to mess with that. I agree with that. Hmm. I have, other than that, you know. So Jess is a great show. mom, though. What have you been doing? I'm like, uh, she's she's Michael Jordan. I'm Pippin. Okay. You know? Yeah. Moms do the work, the real work. Mm. You're there to support them, support the kid, come in, score your points, and key times. Get a rebound. Be yeah. there for the rebounds. What's the, what is the rebounds in this situation? Is it, um, you know, going to the park? Oh, you had and to fight the teenagers off. It's like, wife needs a break. Yeah. Get out of the house with the kid. Give them mm. some space. Mm. Go run. Mm. Get them tired. 90% mm. of what you're doing is trying to tire out your kids so they go to bed on time. That's what I try to do to you before power rankings. Yeah, run me in circles. <laughs> Yes, just like you just got to get his energy out. Yeah. You just got to get it out. <clears throat> yeah, we had some UFL games over the weekend. Got we some do. people not kicking since high school or drilling. What was it, sixty-four yarders? Damn. Yeah. Record-setting uh... finish. Battlehawks fall. That's a little bit of an upset as well. Call not law. No, the law was broken. Wonder if Rasheed Rice was officiating that game. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. Yeah. Also, I what was the original title that you had? Should wide receivers like just not be allowed to drive? Yeah. Should the I NFL? Think, you know what? Yeah. That's the new rule. Sorry. Sorry. No more. Don't. No more driving from wide receiver NFL wide receivers. Just Uber. Yeah. You're all yeah, stupid. That's, uh... You're the dumbest fucking drivers on earth. All of you. You suck. It's dumb. Driving. It's just dumb. <clears throat> dumb. Dumb, Assuming dumb. he was in the car and was driving, we don't know for sure exactly what happened. Dumb. But bad like, situation. Dear God. Yeah, Can there was a, a, a car wreck in Dallas. Rasheed Rice believed to be racing his Corvette against a Lamborghini on a Dallas freeway or something. Uh, there'll be a statement tomorrow, I think they said, or maybe that's today. The tweet was from yes. I don't know. So we'll wait and see what happens there. And of course, uh, Cameron Sutton finally turned yeah. himself in. Lions cut Cam Sutton, moved on from him. And then footage of him turning himself into the police after domestic violence charges have been uh, weighing over him. He is not on the lamb anymore. What, uh, is, what is it called when you're off the lamb? Uh, vegan. Ah, he's, Cam Sutton went vegan, turned himself in. That's what happens. So, 
We're P. Family. Diddy is P. Diddy's got to be vegan too at some point, right? No, I don't want that association. No, thank you. You're all, you're P. Diddy. <laughs> just good. It's good. He got good. turned himself in too. It's the shootout. It's April thing. Fool's Day as well. Um, it's the shootout thing, right? Where it's yeah, like, yeah, they have multiple chances from was it the five yard line? Yeah, I mean, <clears throat> I like it for the for the spring Exciting. league. Um, I don't want it in the NFL if that's what you're getting at. Um. I like playing it the normal way you play the rest of the football game. But for it, it worked, I thought, like in the XFL, the USFL. So I like it for the UFL. Mm. 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 Turn it with a fitty. That's for me? Yes. All right. Danny DeVito? Egg. 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 Yeah, the final four. Basketball. Yeah. Hey, and then they won the Super Bowl. <laughs> the Chiefs. Only, and that was the whole reason they won. That was it. They were just like, okay, we're dialed in now. Yeah. So Patrick anything, Mahomes was like, you know what? I wasn't going to win it this year. But now because of Nick Sirianni, I'm going to do it. And everything got worse for the Eagles after that point, too. Yeah. <clears throat> everything. Patrick Mahomes is that good where I would believe him deciding to not win a Super Bowl because he wants a little extra rest. Yeah. So, you know what? I'm going to take the couple weeks this year. I need to He'll recharge go to the a little championship, bit. obviously. But he's yeah. just like those those two, two weeks. weeks. Like, yeah, I just don't, I don't feel like it. I don't feel like it. So, not it. But, yeah, folks, it is uh, the first day of April. We're here. It's chaos. I hate little... this day. I hate this day for sports Twitter, Tom. April Fools. I feel like a lot of it has lost its potency. Yes. Because maybe it's just because we've been in a vacuum of chaos for like, I don't know, a while now. And it's just like every day you see a headline, you're like, that fake? No. All right. I feel like every day at this point has overdone April Fool's. Though when April Fool's is here, it's just like, what's your April Fool's joke? <laughs> I'm happy. Yeah. <laughs> April Fool's. I, I'm not crippled with anxiety today. Just kidding. I still am. And that's when Tom broke down in front of us all. But yeah, no, April Fools, everybody. I hope you enjoy the day. I hope yeah. you enjoy the day. I hope it's a, hope it's a great time for you and your family. Uh, fake you retirements, still... fake signings, fake trades, fake draft stuff. Like, yeah. we already deal with that fake shit enough. Literally every day. <laughs> and then all of the April Fools jokes, none of them are actually funny. Nobody's actually clever. We've seen it all. You can't have a Prius. No, they're the silent killers. Oof, yeah. They're under five miles an hour. Can't even hear them. Can't even hear them. That's it. Yeah, just put governors on all their cars. They can't go faster than 55. There you go. Well, that works. But, you know, even if you did that, they'd find like a 20 mile an hour school zone and then go 55 through there and still get Never. still get caught. Probably. Yeah, <laughs> that's what it is. It's like going 20 to 15. Sorry. It's over now. It's over. But yeah, this we're in is the a parking lot, sir. <laughs> <clears throat> we're in this weird like time period where the draft is like we made it to the month of the draft yeah but it's not till the end of the month and so we're like yeah mock drafts have been going on for a while now we're kind of like to talk about a bunch of prospects we're waiting on the vikings to make like a trade to try and get into like the top five but yeah now we're just waiting and waiting and waiting mm. and waiting and waiting yeah, it's like you've already heard all of the possibilities, all the scenarios. You've played them out in your head mm -hmm. for your team in the draft, who they should get. Maybe they're going to trade. Who's going to fall to them? And now you're just ready for it to happen. And you're like, shit, there's like 28 days left. <laughs> yeah, exactly. The UFL, though, um, what was you, did you watch any of the stuff? Like any um, <clears throat> This was also a horrible weekend for the UFL to launch for me Easter. personally. I had family stuff we were doing all day Saturday. Uh, I did watch the uh, Roughneck Showboats game, a good chunk of that, um, which is probably one of the 
not the least interesting games, but it wasn't one of the, the better ones. Uh, so I, I got a good beat on that. We're riding through the winners and losers, but, uh, I'm glad it's back. I just wish it would have been a week earlier so I could have actually watched like three of the four games versus like seeing stuff on Twitter. Um, but one of the best catches this week, you remember the, the movie invincible Tom? I do. The one with Kevin with Mark Bacon. Wahlberg, not more, more Mark Wahlberg, not Kevin Bacon. That's footloose. <laughs> Kevin Bacon would have been way better. Kevin Bacon would have been great. He would have done the footloose moves. He would have been able to be an yeah, amazing wide yeah. receiver. But the the, 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 the movie that guy's based on, uh, Vinny Papale, uh, his kids, he his kid plays in the UFL. That's dope. And he had one of the most insane catches. Was of that the, the back of the end zone? Graham? Yeah, the toe tap in the back of the end zone. Just a. Oof. Oof. So there's some good stuff. Like you had the the 64 yard game winning field goal that the guy made twice. Uh, Bates made it twice because they iced him. He was like, I forgot you can even be iced because it's been so long since I kicked a field goal. Um, defenders got worked by the Brahmas. So and there's a, a there's a nice trick play we're gonna go over in that one. Oh yeah, I was so that was actually I was able to catch like one game and I caught like that half while I was doing work. Yeah, I saw that. I was yeah. on fourth down when because I thought like destroying was gonna like they were gonna let him like boot that field goal and I was like oh okay and then they called it differently because I think someone called a timeout. So yeah, it's like uh it's, the funny thing is like because Fox broadcasts some of the games and you get the 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 and at the football music for but like their commercial or their lead in to the thing and like yeah. that music just gives me like uh like PTSD. It's like, oh, God, do I need to be working? Like, it <laughs> reminds me of being in the middle of football season. He's like, no, no, <laughs> like, oh, I just no. did that. <laughs> that is true. That is What's true. my power rankings? What am I doing? Yeah. <laughs> I'm not prepared. Yeah. I'm not ready. Yes, Brandon, this is actually not an April Fool's joke. I have to tell you. Okay. I'm going on vacation. What? You're going on vacation. Going on vacation. Where are you I'm going? Going to Iceland for a week. I told. Remember the one I was supposed to go. To yeah. And then COVID, and then it got canceled. Yeah. I'm going. When are you going? A week from Thursday. Oh wow, April. I know. It's the only chance I'm going to have, or I'm not going to be able to go at all. And then, nice. We'll just continue. I have to go. You taking the dogs with you? No, Papa Grassi gonna stay here with the puppers. <laughs> I want you to be, I want you to be constrained, even on your vacation. <laughs> like I want you to have all the. Res I don't want this to feel like nice. a vacation at all. Yeah, just did Iceland a, a few years ago. She was most, yeah, I did it years and years ago. It was the most beautiful place <laughs> I've ever been to, and I was like, all right, I really want to go back. And uh, yeah, yeah, I'm excited. we were actually just we just talked about that yesterday because it was really nice out here. We were outside. It was like 64 degrees, but then the sun went behind the clouds and it got a little bit cooler and we're walking inside and just like, I'm freezing. Uh, like I'm in a t-shirt. I'm like, yeah. She's like, I don't even know how I ever did Iceland. <laughs> She's like, what was I thinking? What was it during? Cause April, like it's going to be around like 30 ish yeah. degrees. She went in September, little... but like, it's still, you know. It's a little chilly. It gets cold. And she was kind of, she was like a, doing a video thing. So she was like outside for long period shooting video and doing stuff. But listen, I'm not be traded to the Chiefs green monkey. It's true. It's true. Hey, go right guy. But yes, today we are going to talk about all the ways to fix the NFL. Because listen, well, we complain about the NFL. We talk about officiating. We talk about banning certain tackles. We talk about just pure nonsense on a daily basis. And today, Brandon and I are going to single-handedly fix the National Football League by instating some new rules and regulations. And also adding what I like to call a little flair. A little flair. A little piece of flair. Right there. Some flair. Right there. This is our way of talking about the NFL when literally nothing is happening. Mm -hmm. mm. This is going to be peak off season. We should have just called. We should have just called this episode "Off the Rails." 
because that's like what's going to happen. Like a train. Yeah. I mean, that's what everybody says. Oh, God, we're already off the rails. That's and, true. you know, but we got to title the episodes where we trick new people into possibly watching <laughs> this show. <laughs> no, that's clickbait sports. Yeah. Remember, that's that. That's well, one. fair. It, mm. it, it applies. Yeah. Just send the Minnesota Vikings down to the UFO. That's how you actually. Wow. We could start off this way. Don't we already do this every week, every episode. They're like, let's just get rid of the Chiefs and Vikings. Just, just get. I want to once again. There's a, there's an island. I believe it's called Snake Island. It has like those golden oh, vipers yeah. on it. <clears throat> yeah. I'm not saying people, but I think the organization should be headquartered there. So if you want to go and like you have to do your signings, like okay, I'm gonna go sign for the Minnesota Vikings. You have to go to Snake Island. That's where your contract is. All right. So. What about that island that uh, nobody can visit because the tribe there just kills anybody who comes? That's for the Chiefs. Okay. Okay, so <laughs> we got we got venomous snakes, and that's where all like the free agent contracts yeah. are, the like the draft signings. That's where all of them take place, right? Let's see the how Chiefs. fast you are without your car, Rice. There you go. Can't Chiefs. drive on that island. Yep, gonna gonna get killed by. It's fine. So, I think that this way, all the rookies. <laughs> They're like, you know what? No, thank you. They go and they sign with the Broncos and the Packers. Mm. So the Chiefs and Vikings, they're doing, they're picking. So maybe the Vikings, they they trade up, they get JJ McCarthy. He's like, all right, where's my contract? Well, you gotta go to Snake Island. Oh no, thanks. Now, just to a little addition for the Seahawks, because Brandon and I have a, a thing with the Seattle Seahawks. They're on the island with the Komodo Dragons. Ooh. Don't they have poisonous bites, the Komodo I'm dragons? I'm pretty sure they do. Yeah. Yeah. And they're dinosaurs. So, let's yeah. go. Let's was go. it? I, th yeah, I think I saw something on Twitter where it was like a piece of meat that had been bitten by a Komodo dragon versus just a regular one and how it like decayed. Yeah. Right? I was out there on Twitter. So, that's where the Seahawks <clears throat> are going to sign all their free agents and uh, also new dress signings. Yeah. Komodo Dragon Island. That's our that's truth. I give yes. you the R-rated truth every time. Ron Killings. It's yeah. phenomenal. That's the say everybody keeps saying I'm that guy, right? <laughs> but that's yes. like the one they it's like and what's his he, what's his shtick? He, he doesn't just, try. He's no, that's Orange Cassidy. Oh. Orange Cassidy's a guy who wears like jeans to the ring and he puts his hands in his pocket. Okay. Yeah, our truth is just really funny. He wrestles for WWE. Okay. Do you oh, so do you want me to cause on Friday night Q and A's came up again too because I'm going to Raw tonight, right? You're going you to said, two matches, Raw and WrestleMania, or just Raw? No, I'm going to Raw tonight, and then I'm going to WrestleMania Saturday and Sunday. <laughs> Nerd. <laughs> yeah, bro. Yes. Obviously. What's the difference between Raw and WrestleMania? So basically, oh wait, is this the episode where I teach Brandon about wrestling? No, also, we're just getting. A, I'm getting one little nugget each time. You're dipping your toe in the water. Okay, yeah. I'll happily so. What I'm about to say, it just pertains to WWE, right? Because there's okay. different wrestling companies. Like there's WWE, then there's AEW, where Eddie Kingston, the guy who loves you, he wrestles for AEW. Yeah, yeah. There's multiple companies, but those are two of the biggest ones in uh, North America. So WWE has weekly TV shows, like episodic TV shows. Like literally, Raw has been running more, like longer than like The Simpsons. As like okay. more episodes, like it's every single week, there's a new episode. Every wow. So that's Monday Night Raw's on Monday. Uh, then you have NXT, which is kind of like the minor leagues. You can kind of think about it like that. Like okay. the up-and-coming wrestlers. That's on, it's on Tuesday or Wednesday at this. Yeah, it's Tuesday. And then Friday is Friday Night SmackDown. So basically, it's two different shows and the rosters are so big. So like there's some wrestlers who wrestle on SmackDown. There's some wrestlers who wrestle on Raw. And so that's just that. Then there's pay-per-views or now they're PLEs because they're on Peacock. They're not pay-per-views anymore. And so those are like the big events that have wrestlers from both brands who wrestle. WrestleMania is like their Super Bowl. So like that's like the okay. biggest PLE yeah. slash pay-per-view that you could have. So you're going so, to the Super Bowl of wrestling? Yes. Whoa. So I'm very excited about that. Hot. Yeah. So tonight I'm going to Raw and like The Rock is going to be there because they're hyping up WrestleMania. Yeah. So like The Rock's going to be there. And so, yeah. <laughs> I, so saw anyway. the, I saw their... Um... I delete them. The the rock with uh Cody Rhodes or whatever, right? Oh, and he beat the crap out of him, yeah. Yeah, but then like the extended version yeah, where um 
Oh, when they said like, all right, they say clear, cut, and, he's, and like, he's like still going at it. It's pretty great. I'm like, all right. So the this is what's oh, funny yeah. about The Rock is The Rock is obviously like one of the biggest like wrestlers ever in WWE. Yeah. But whenever he's come back over the years, usually I don't want to say he's phoned it in, <clears throat> but it's kind of like, oh, like I go in, say some things, you know, like rock bottom somebody or do a people's elbow and then I'm I'm done. And so he's come back now as a heel, like as a bad guy. Right. If you're a good guy, you're a face or a baby face and if you're a bad guy, you're a heel. And uh, basically is like just rocked on the mic. He's like been better than Roman. So it's going to be interesting tonight. Tonight's going to be interesting. My wrestling gonna... game would be the heel, but I would be a good guy. That's an anti hero. Yeah. No, I just, my name would be the heel, but I would oh. be a good guy. Your, your name would be the heel. Yeah. And I'd have a giant heel as my head. Huh. With bunions and everything all over just, it. Like into feet. Yep. I love okay. sex. What was that? <laughs> I love sex. Where did that click? I love sex. <laughs> Jory sent it to me. <laughs> I love sex. It's really a good clip for GPS. That is, <laughs> Stephen it's so, A? It's so quiet. Yeah. That, okay. That's great. I Stephen A gets too much hate, in my opinion. I think he's one of the best at what he does. I, but see, here's For as the, much as that man has to talk about shit. Sure. And he's good at getting clicks. I'll definitely say that. Like, he is a very good entertainer. 100%. He is so, he's entertaining. Um, and he answers like these Crazy. questions for his like podcast or whatever. They're like the dumbest questions, but he takes them seriously and gives you real answers. Oh, I don't know. I got a lot of respect for Stephen know. A. And now we know he, he likes sex. Um, there you go. Yeah. There you go. I did see everybody mentioning that Patrick Mahomes deleted some old P. Diddy tweets. Uh, yes. Makes okay. sense. Makes, makes sense considering everything that's going on in the world. Nobody knew P. Diddy was who P. Diddy was. Let's go. When they liked P. Diddy. I'll give Patrick Mahomes a pass. Did he need to go back and delete him just saying like, cool, P. Diddy? Or, there's like the most mundane tweets about somebody's music he listened to. I listened to Brandon Perna. Yeah, dude, I had some hits. I do have one way I, I really think the NFL could, we could fix the NFL Tell significantly, me. Tom. It, Dean Blandino. I, Dean Blandino. The transparency is insanely good. Yeah. And it's, it's not insane. new. They have done this. They have done this. Yes. In the XFL. Like, Dean they has been well. rocking for a couple of years now, I feel like. Yeah. But just, if this take, I think this would take a lot of heat off of the NFL officials because. When you understand the process they go through to get to the call at confirmation, you've got a little more sympathy and understanding for him. Yeah. And so listening to Dean Blandino, like confirm rulings in real time where he's like, okay, can, do we have another angle of this? Let me see if we can see the player across the line before the ball is actually snapped here. Oh, we don't have a conclusive thing to show that he wasn't. He looks like he's moving early. Let's let the call stand. You're just like, this is, this is nice because it doesn't feel like there's this fucking veil yes. where it, it lets our imaginations run and we're like, oh, they're fixing the game right now. Sure. It's just a guy with visual evidence trying to make a an important call in real time. And he's you agree with it, too. Like, even if maybe you don't agree with the initial like penalty or whatever, once you hear him go through it, you're like, oh, yeah, that makes sense. Well, you get the justification, right? Yeah. And that we, I've, we've talked about that on this show and talking about like when it was the XFL, just like, yeah, they need to adopt this kind of transparency, especially like in the world of like where sports betting is everywhere now. Like it, that stuff doesn't help yeah. to have that level of like that veil that you're talking about. Yeah. Because anything that you're keeping behind and like keeping secret. And yeah. on top of that, you have analysts giving their own opinion and you're not hearing from the refs. Yeah. Well, then you have a booth official and yes. it feels like 90% of the booth official and their job is coming in and telling us what how the on-field call is actually wrong in this situation. Yeah. You're like, oh, so, I don't agree with that. Yeah. That's what, like, that's the problem too, because if your only information that you're getting is from like the TV people 
and be like, oh, yeah. I don't agree with that. You're most likely not going to agree with that or you're going to be swayed in that way. Yeah. Right? Dean's good. You need multiple Dean Blandinos. They got to clone him. So he's got to give his DNA over willingly. NFL has technology to clone. And They're just turn not him into a yet. dinosaur. Okay. Yes. Yes. So clone Dean Blandino. Give Little us like, arms. I think we need like 12 Deans, you know, and uh, offense. have that in there. Also, cool. what I would like is each referee that's doing it. They actually are sponsored by a sports book. So then we know which lines they are favoring. It's like, hi, I'm Dean Blandino, brought to you by uh, DraftKings today. And uh, their <laughs> over-under is this. And uh, you got to figure out who I'm going to be loyal to today. That would add a little nugget to it, you know? I think you can... So I'm going to kind of steal this from the Seahawks a little bit. You know how they have like the 12th man, right? Mm-hmm. I think you can have one additional player on the defense, the 12th man. However, you are camouflaged and painted the same color as the turf or grass, and you get to lay somewhere on the field. And you An can't actual get up. turf monster. Yes. So if someone's running like, here's a breakaway, you could go, gotcha, and you could grab their feet. Yeah, you know, I... I agree with this in theory, Tom, but I already see how the NFL is going to ruin it. They're going to implement rules to protect the turf monster. They're going to be like, there is a 25% greater risk of injury to turf monsters. They are getting stepped on too much, and we've got to take stepping on turf monsters out of the game. I, I, sure, but listen... That's, At some point, you have to admit that being a turf monster, uh -huh. it's a dangerous sport. It's a dangerous yep. position. You're going to get stepped on, but yeah. that could help your team. Do you lay down face up if you're a turf monster? So what Leaving happens your dick is, and balls exposed to being this stepped is on? This is before anybody gets into the stadium. The turf monster has to be there hours early. But they're going to find him during warm-ups. No. <laughs> no, 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 they can't. Use I'm gonna poke some holes in your turf monster. All right, you know what? But first of all, yes, Jordan Love has been talking about expectations the entire time. Adding Jacobs one million percent and moving on from Aaron Jones shows they're serious. And McKinney, <laughs> yeah, hundred percent made that secondary a million times better. But let's talk about the turf monster, okay? No, no, no. All right. So you're worried about warmups. That's true. That's a good point. And if it's an outdoor stadium, you can't just turn the lights off because that was going to be my next suggestion. Everybody has to put on blindfolds during the national anthem, and that's when the turf monster goes. But what if someone doesn't? Then that's how cheating can happen. So that We're disrespecting make... the flag by putting on blindfolds. That's already your argument against that. Damn right, it. That's why we're not doing that. We're not doing that. Okay. So the turf monster, I think half the field, right? Half the field. You know what? Can't do warm ups anymore. <laughs> What? That's how it's you can't do warm ups anymore. You warm up in the locker room. Yeah, you warm up in the like locker chasing, room, chasing each other around naked with towels. I've seen like a way, bunch of them. They're fine. Do Not it. the naked players. I meant the locker yeah. rooms. They're big enough. It's fine. Yeah. So you, then the turf monster is going to be on the field hours early before, the, and the, it's going to be a game. The fans be like, "Can you spot the turf monster?" Right? You could win a gift card. You'd be like, "Where do you think the turf a monster free is?" Free medium Pepsi. Uh huh. Yeah, exactly. You get a free medium Pepsi. And I think that that's the way you do it. Now, when the turf monster is found, right? Because you're probably going to hear Patrick Mahomes like stand at the line and be like, turf monster, turf monster, pointing him out, right? Sure. But the turf monster can only grab one person. And that's it. So it can only be used once per game. Can it only grab Mahomes? If so, if they happen to line up, they huddle, they go to the line, everything, and the turf monster is undetected, sure. Okay. To grab him as he's like going back, just grabbing his ankle and be like, turf monster. Tits. All right. So I think that this works. We fixed officiating. We added turf monster. Wide receivers are not allowed to drive. Done. We already yeah. talked about that. That's already. <clears throat> That's fixed. actually a rule. Yeah. Wide receivers have to take monthly driving tests. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Also, question How long for was it going to take for the turf monster to just lay down on the MetLife turf and get injured? 
The Met Life Field has killed another turf monster. Because <laughs> it just. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Sucks me. <clears throat> but, yeah. Uh, oh, also... that's the penis museum. They got whale penises there. Whoa, what? Yeah, in Iceland. They got like whale penises. Dude, send me a picture if you go look at a whale penis. I'm probably not going to go to the whale penis museum. Come on! I mean, like. I'll pay for your admission to the whale dick museum. It's Moby want... Dick. It's oh, please tell me it's just called Moby D Moby's Dick. <laughs> it's Moby's. Yeah, it's Moby's. And dick. all they do is play Moby over the loudspeaker. By the way, no. Who's the uh, what's who's the the woman from Iceland? B Bjork. York. Yeah, she's from Iceland. You go into Moby's Dick and you think you're going to hear Moby's music, but it's actually just Bjork's music. I remember hmm. Bjork's from Iceland because of the CKY videos. Ha <laughs> ha! Now we're getting into history, kids. I am right to laugh. One oh. other thing I do want for the NFL to be fixed. Okay. Super Bowl winner doesn't get any draft picks. You win the Super Bowl, fuck your picks. <laughs> it would be, you know, I really want that to happen right now because we don't want to see anybody three-peat. We just don't. And... I don't I mean the the Chiefs were heading into this draft. They signed Hollywood Brown. They had, you know, Rasheed Rice coming off a great year. They're like, I think we're okay at receiver. Now they're not. Now their receiver might be in trouble. They're just gonna draft somebody who's probably gonna be good. I think I'd rather have them no drafts. Every year, <clears throat> right? If you make the playoffs. Or they have they yes. have to take the last. They own. They're the only team who gets Mister Irrelevant. That's ah. their only draft pick. There you go. Yeah. Sorry, you were. I. I interrupted you. No, Apologies. it's it's more than all right. It's more than all right. Sorry. I think if you make the because we love parity in the NFL, right? Sure. We like that different yeah. teams can be playoff contenders, all that great stuff. So, every team that made the playoffs, they have to put a fan at one of the positions. They just and an <laughs> active starter. And that's what you have to do for the entire season. Now, if that fan eventually gets injured, they still got to play through it the entire time. I don't care what the injury is. They got to play it the entire time. So then you could, one, <clears throat> see how gifted the athletes are. Yeah. And two, maybe, you know what? Maybe making the playoffs won't be such a great thing anymore. Ooh, okay. So then the Broncos could be a successful organization. Well, we're on our way back. Just... Come here for Broncos slander today. I'm sorry. So you got you guys beat the Packers last year. If it makes it yeah. any better, that's true. Here's one. Here's one that I think would uh, be supported by a lot of fans. Tom. Okay. Get rid of the secondary ticket market. Okay. Why are games so expensive? It's actually not the NFL being greedy, right? Well, I mean, they do raise, they'll raise ticket prices or whatever a little bit, but it's fans buying tickets and then reselling them. Mm -hmm. I think we're at a, a spot techno, techno, technology wise where you can only buy it through the website. You have to show, you have to, it's got to be confirmed ID to your tickets. And once you buy the tickets, you're the only person who can get into the fucking game with those tickets. No reselling for. Like if you want to go to a game and you're trying to buy like nice tickets to the 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 game and it's like two grand for a seat, that's bullshit, man. It's BS. Get rid of you it. You like football? I love sex. We do too. Johnny just said that to me. Thank you, Johnny Barks. But that actually is a good rule, Brandon. Like that actually would be great. Yeah. But what happens if you can't go though? Your tickets, so, you, so, sorry. Oops. So let's just say, right? You show you, up. You buy tickets for you and Carmi to go to her You first... sell it back to the, the team. You her can sell it back to where you bought it. They buy it back. For, for, so, but okay, what if you do that an hour before and they can't sell the ticket? Who cares? Well, then they're going to lose money. They're not going to be happy about that. They're not going to allow that. I don't care. Then it's oh, boo-hoo. We'll have, we'll, we'll make 20 billion instead of 20.2 billion this year. 
Yes, no, that they, that would be upsetting. They would be very upset. They'd by be that. so bad. Look at how Dan Snyder eventually got ousted. <laughs> Just like, don't you touch our money? Yeah. Carmi and you are about to go to the first her first NFL game, right? And it's the Chiefs first Broncos. It's in Denver. It's really exciting. And then Carmi turns to you and goes, "If I go to this game, I'm going to be a Chiefs fan. You can't go to the game now. You got to sell the tickets back." But it's an hour before. I'll just take game. her to Chuck E. Cheese and I'll be like, this is football. She's like, I'm 22. <laughs> I know what football Where have is. you been for the last 13 years, Dad? We talked about that on QA. I'm actually curious now. We no power about... rankings. No I power can't rankings. I can't do that. Sorry, no, sports. No power <clears throat> what age do you think Carmi is going to realize what you do for a living to the point where it's like, oh, like my dad makes like wiener joke videos on the yeah. internet about football. Uh, probably in the next couple of years. Right. I she already like, knows like she, she uses an iPad very well. Mm. She's used an iPad for a while now. <laughs> she watches kids YouTube. Like Is she subscribed to you. No, it's kids YouTube. So I don't get recommended in there. Thanks. <laughs> um, I can't imagine why. And kids YouTube's like, they still get recommended some weird shit. You got to keep your eye on it. But like, you know, it's mostly like, she likes watching like people play with toys and all sorts of stupid stuff, but uh, <laughs> she's going to find out soon, sooner rather than later is my point. But like, she knows, like she knows, like right now I'm working with uncle Tom. You going to do your show with uncle Tom? Yep. So, Oh, I know she knows that I'm yeah. saying like, what's the, like, is it going to be middle school where like a middle schooler comes up to her and is like, Hey, your dad's a piece of shit. You're Carby from GPS. Dad sucks. He's not funny. He thinks he's funny. Why is your dad such a bitch? And then she'll be like, I hate you, dad. You're embarrassed to be in front of my friends by being you. And, I'll and be then like, you... well, it's going to happen at some point. So, Oh, let's... my God. Well, that's the thing. If there is ever someone, if there's like some little punk ass middle schooler that bullies Carmi, the Internet is going to take care of this. Yeah. Now, I'm not saying, you know, we're going to make the kid disappear, but drop kicking will be in order. And I like I just imagine like in power rankings, like let's just say it's this kid like Timmy. Yeah. Right. And you're just like, you know what? And number one, F you, Timmy. Just like put up a picture of him. It's like, <laughs> screw this kid, you piece of garbage. How do we fix bullying? By becoming an even bigger bully to the That's bullies. Right. I got hundreds of thousands of people to bully. That's that's right. Right. That's good. <laughs> I hope that like it's maybe our show can get so successful that I have money where I just pay like a uh, it's like a bodyguard, okay. but it's like a it's a grown person who looks like a child. So they blend in with her at school and she doesn't know that they're their bodyguard, but they're just there to protect her. We reverse DNA engineer FBI agents to always protect my child. Mentally. They're an adult. Physically, they're as strong as a grown man or woman with jujitsu, taekwondo, wrestling skills. But physically, they look like a child. So like a Benjamin Button kind of thing. Yeah, but it's just like they're there to make sure my kid has a great experience at school and never deals with any sort of adversity that will help her later in life. Okay. It is always going to be easy for my child. Okay. And if she suffers any sort of challenge, I'm going to remove it so she never has to deal with it. It's what a good parent does, Tom. I just think it's going to be so great to have like these memories way down the line. Like when Carmi is like, let's just say 15 years old and is like, hey, dad, you remember when you told the internet that I pooped outside? Yeah. That could only lead to an amazing conversation. Yeah. That's a new episode of Jess Brain. I'm excited. Boom. I'm excited. Anyway, another rule for the NFL. <laughs> My child is the quarterback. As long as she doesn't sign with the Chiefs, the Vikings, or the Seahawks, because yeah. then either snakes, Komodo dragons, or a tribe is going to kill her. So Honestly, I would bet right now Carmi would be a better NFL Got quarterback it. than Johnny Manziel was. I put money on that. Right now? Yeah. Carmi's like two and a half? Yeah. 
right, no, she's three and a half. Sorry. Three and a half now. Okay. Three and a half she now. can throw. Bam. No. Okay. Another way to fix it. <laughs> I don't want I pass interference to be a spot foul. I'm sick of that shit. Oh, so you're giving like an actual rule change that would actually help things. Because then we're going like holding not being 10 yards. Sure. That, holding that should... five yards. Dude, that was actually, that was one of the problems I had with the UFL this weekend. There's there's no preseason games, right? So like, you yeah. know, the teams are, yeah, they're trying to get their shit together. It's they didn't get free. the reps. There's a lot of. I felt like there's a lot of penalties called, at least in the, the showboats game. There's a lot of holding. Some nice plays are negated because of it. It felt like there's too many holding penalties, a little over officiated for week one. And I get you're probably trying to establish like how the games are going to be called. Teams are a little undisciplined. Uh, but maybe there's a penalty limit. Once you hit your penalty limit, it's just a free for all, baby. Then it's NFL blitz. Like yes. then you're, you're doing bicycle kicks. You're. Doing I think body slam flexes. should be allowed for defenders. You think so? You don't want hip drop tackles. Well, how about you get rid of the hip drops, but you allow guys to pick other guys up and throw them down. I think drop kick should be fine. I think a running mm -hmm. drop kick. That's a little. A little. Brandon, what if we remove? people's ability to tackle with their hands everybody has these all defenders have mitts on like oven mitts on yeah the entire time sure I, but so oh. the offensive linemen so everybody, there's no holding holdings every, impossible everybody has mitts on everybody even receivers you know yep and quarterbacks yep tom you just ruined the game no, I think I just you took it, it too far. You took it fine. too far. Okay, fine. The quarterbacks don't. Fine. The quarterbacks don't. All skill players get get hands. True. Maybe corners. But then how do you tackle them? Huh? How do you tackle them then? If you don't got your hands, you're just going to... Hip drop. Yeah, that's you just, it. Hip drop. Hip drop tackle is hip actually drop. the only tackle that's allowed right now. I don't believe the hip drop numbers either. That's the NFL keeps leaning on this thing where they're like, there's 25% more injuries with them. I don't buy it. I just don't believe those numbers. I think they're just lying to us. They know they're <laughs> lying to us. And they're nobody's going to go back and look at that shit, right? Nobody's going to be able to prove them wrong. And I'm not saying I wouldn't do the same thing if I were the NFL and I didn't want to. is going like, full blow conspiracy mode. There's it's like 10,000% like more uh, problems with this. The numbers say, I think they just made it up. Now, sports betting, it's part of the game. I think every player has to sports bet, Tom. This is how we fix the game. <laughs> but every player has to bet on themselves and they have to take the higher. So that if they don't perform, they lose their game check that week. So is it a game check? Is that's that how much they have to put check. on? For all, let's say for any player not on their rookie deal, it's their game check. Okay. I like that. Yeah. So, you know, I don't want to take money from like a sixth round draft pick who's making $30 to play that week. But I you want are. them to lose it. Um, $30 after, you know, what they'll be fined for, taxes. All that shit. But you got to take the higher. If you don't hit it, you don't get your money, bitch. So what's the... So and that's, they get a little message from the sports books app. Yeah. That goes... It calls them. It's like, hello, this is underdog today. And I'd just like to let you know, Patrick Mahomes, you don't get your money, bitch. End of call. Is that you making the call just for Patrick Mahomes? Just for and the Patrick. Kansas City Chiefs. You're just like, yeah. you know what? I'll do this job for free. I'll do this for free. Yeah, I got to find the Perna shirt. <coughs> I'm uh, having trouble locating that. I'm going to find it. I'm going to find it. Mm. Find it. Maybe that the Pro Bowl. Ooh. What? The Pro Bowl sports book. AFC versus NFC. It's true. Everybody's bet on themselves. They yes. got to put their own money into the game. Got it. Winning team gets gets their bets. What if they just put a dollar in? Nope. There's a minimum. It's just like a, a table. table. So why would Vegas. they put in more money? Uh, there's a, each team. Each player's got to put twenty five grand in. Wow. Yeah. 
So even if they're like a a punter and they're not making a lot of money. Yeah, fuck them, man. They're a pro bowler. They're about to get paid. Mm-hmm. Turf monsters. They're turf monsters. It's going to it's going to get yeah. you Quentin Johnson. You can get I've got lots of ideas. We didn't even crack. Okay. Them. Which formal which former NFL player or coach should be the commissioner right now? Which for Peyton Manning? No, no, no. To ruin the league. Oh, to ruin it? Yeah. Aaron Hernandez. I'm pretty sure he's dead, Brandon. <laughs> Nothing's going to get done. Who's the oh. NFL lying about that, too? <laughs> OJ Simpson. OJ Simpson, commissioner of the NFL. Antonio, oh, Antonio Brown would be way worse than OJ. OJ still, like, respects the game. Antonio Brown would ruin it. Nobody on earth would ruin football more than Antonio Brown if he had any sort of control. We've already seen it. See the Arena Football League in Albany. He ran one into the ground, and he was there for, like, six minutes. He's by far the worst Twitter follow now, too. Yeah, it's gotten. It's whatever. like it's. I haven't followed him. Maybe ever, the but... most annoying player ever, ever. Okay. Listen, Doctor Spatula. Yes, you could keep your warm ups. You could do it. That's what it is, Brandon. The turf monster hides during the national anthem. Yeah. During <clears throat> the giant flag, and you yes. just see the turf monster go. <laughs> and they're like, "Well, there goes the turf monster," and he goes underneath the flag, and you see like the little bump. You're like, "Where is he going?" That's it. That see, this go. is why this community is the best because when we put our heads yeah. together, we really can come up with solutions. Yeah, and that's what it is. A turf monster hides underneath the giant flag during the national anthem. Perfect. I love it. Yeah, Antonio Brown would mess up the NFL. I think so. He, I would, he would listen to this episode and be like, there's some good ideas here. This is this turf monsters there day one. Day one. First, and this first order of business, no more crackers in the NFL. Like ribs, triscuits, wheat mm-hmm. thins. No more crackers. They count. That would be his first move. Perna's dreams. I've never thought about Perna's like actual do you oh, have do you remember your dreams a lot? I did last night. What the hell was I dreaming about? It woke me up. I'm like glad I'm glad that's not happening. What the fuck was I doing? No, the Chiefs won the Super Bowl, Brandon. It happened. No, I know. That's my ongoing living nightmare. Twice. Twice. Mm-hmm. Oh, I was trying to do something very weird and Just complicated, and it wasn't working. Is it about work? No, it was weird. It was a weird dream. Okay. Yeah. Okay. All right. I, really, I don't remember enough of my dreams anymore. It's okay, Brandon. It's because you're living them. Inspirational. Mm. Sorry. Sorry. My best draft. I sleep pretty good. I sleep good. My best draft hot take. Ooh. Packers are going to draft their next quarterback in the future. (laughs) (laughs) Listen. They select 12 year old Johnny. Back to back. Somebody. Um, I think out of the first, like, are we saying, because right now, what is it, like five or six QBs are projected to go in the first? Well, I wouldn't say six. Okay. So like five, five is a, it, people think five could go. And it really just depends if like Penix and Knicks are going to go in the first round. Yeah. Because you got the Broncos, the Raiders, teams that are heavily interested in them. I think like two out of those five are going to find success. Oh, I don't think that's a hot take. I think that's probably that's the probably the most sensible take there is. And I it's, think the one who's probably going to put up, uh, it's going to put up the best numbers. I think whoever like this is actually not an April Fool's, not a hot take. I think whoever goes to Minnesota, I think is going to be set up pretty well. Caleb obviously has a shot too, but I think yeah. whoever goes to Minnesota, I think that they're that for the offense. As long as Justin Jefferson is back, I think they're right. Yeah. All right. I think uh, Caleb's stock went back up after he said he was going to have sex with everybody's girlfriends who likes his painted nails. 
yes i also video. loved his uh response to that it was yeah. it was pretty great i'm gonna bang your girlfriend's what he said it's true wear lip gloss when i do it we said your girl likes it uh uh-huh. they serve a beer called moby dick and all their beer taps are penises oh well now now i'm gonna have to go is the iceland my true homeland yeah. brandon you want to just come with me i might never leave that's the problem yeah, I'm going to be like, Brian, let's go hike. And you're like, I'm here. I'm like, it's been three days and you haven't left the penis museum. Can't get enough of this dick beer. I think, I think. Fill me up where, with this dick beer. That's where you should move to. And just the background, like for your set, is the penis museum every yeah. day. Tight. I can do it. That's good sports from Iceland. Welcome to the dick museum. I think it's pretty <laughs> good. Hey, Oof. sorry, Nelson. Back pain's no joke. Yeah, I hope you feel better. Jess's back was hurting this morning. When I jumped through, just got over her sinus stuff. I, what would you rather have every day, back pain or sinus infection? Ooh, she chose back pain. It depends on the back pain, though. Yeah, uh, that's tough. Backs uh, don't want to mess it up. Hot Brandon, draft pick. He's definitely not wearing a shirt. Brandon's definitely not wearing a shirt. No. Definitely not. No. For your WWE attire, yeah, you're wrestling shirtless yeah i have him yeah because it's a it because it's a manscaped ad that's why gotta make it look good gotta make it look good oh yeah no it's gonna it's gonna be absolutely field goal practice yes drop kicking will be there absolutely carmy just has to come back one day and just be like just slides you a piece of paper with a name on it and you just silently nod you show it up to the screen yeah. we all silently nod We'll happens. handle that shit like the Godfather, basically. Pretty much. Pretty, no physical harm, of course. We're not advocating. Nope. That. But I will cut off a horse's head and put it in their bed. What the horse do? Going by the Godfather rules, Tom. Can it already be a passed away horse? It it, maybe it's a pretend horse, but we just make it look real so it scares him. Scared but, straight. So, wait a minute. So you're gonna now the like, parents be like, "How'd you get into our house?" They're like, tell your kid to shut his fucking little mouth. No, the parents are fans of GPS. <laughs> and if they're <laughs> like, not, "Sorry, kid, that's a good show." That's a good show. It's Sorry, a good buddy. show. You Sorry. listen to these these weirdos. Sorry. Sorry. Why? Because I uh, I was I didn't know what to make for the thumbnail. <laughs> that's why, <laughs> Elliot. <laughs> Also, I like their rivalry. I like that uh, I like that Crosby gets in everybody's face. We said how to fix the NFL. They look like they're kind of fighting. I don't know. There's there's definitely some there's definitely some things from the UFO you could borrow. Definitely, definitely. Again. Oh, the just, super challenge. Yeah, I did see that. Level of transparency. It's up here. Also, Brandon, what's your height? Five eight. No one in the NFL could be above five eight. Oh, I like that rule. Right? Yeah. I like that. Nobody can. You could be 5'8". That's fine. But they use Brandon Perna to measure, like, upcoming athletes. It's like, either 5'8 no. or lower or 6'5 or in higher. I don't mind freakishly tall people. Okay. It's like the dudes are, like, 6'3". I'm like, that. what, what an asshole. 6'3". Perfect height. What if you're, like, 6'1"? Fuck off this place. Six one, you don't like either. Six, no, don't like six one. No automatic, got to be manual now. They got to look at that. No automatic, no automatic. No more automatic first downs for defensive fouls, mm. unless mm. it's a bicycle kick. Yeah, I think it just the the defensive foul for a first down, it, the yardage has to work out right. Mm-hmm. So if it's fourth and three and you come in a five yard penalty, yeah, first down. Oh, I like that. <clears throat> The ref gets a weapon, though. Ooh, okay. The ref gets a weapon. It'd be like a kendo stick, something like that. That's it. She's like, you know what? I don't like that call. Got to battle it out. Sure. I like that. I like that. I think if you catch uh, a penalty flag, too, as a defender, no penalty. If a defender can catch the penalty flag that's been thrown before it hits the ground, no penalty. I got it. I got the rule. I got it. Okay. This is only for domes. Okay. 
in the beloved series Harry Potter, there's a game of Quidditch in which somebody needs to catch a golden snitch during the game while the game is going on, right? Football is about America. So in a dome, could be during the Super Bowl, could be whenever, you release a bald eagle. Okay. Okay. The team, the whole football game goes on. And if time runs out, then that's the score. However, if a player, right, and they just nominate on the side, they're the eagle catcher, catches the bald eagle before, they get 75 points. Whoa. Golden snitch? But it's an eagle. I thought that's when you pee on a snitch in prison in the shower. What is it in Harry Potter? Little gold ball with wings. Little gold ball with wings. I never read Harry Potter or watched. Never, so so, never seen any of them, huh? <laughs> okay. I think I've seen the first one, maybe. Okay, Sorcerer's Stone. <laughs> so yeah, American Eagle. They got to catch it. Now they can't hurt the eagle, and the eagle does have claws. But if they catch the eagle, they get seventy points. That seems tough. You know what? Make it 20 points. Make it 20 points. <laughs> Just the points. Just the points. Yeah, just that. Thank you, Michael. We tried. I think we've we've saved the NFL already. I think there's probably about seven people saying the opposite of Michael right now, but I could be wrong. <laughs> <laughs> be wrong. I like but, Michael. I agree with Michael. Yes. I think... Mm. Every game, you take away one of the player's senses. Could be smell, could be taste, could be sight, could be... I can't hear anything. We got to advance in technology to do that. No, you don't. Blindfold. We already talked about Oh, I thought you meant take it away permanently. No, it's just for the game. We're not monsters. Oh, okay. Blindfolded? Blindfolded okay. football would be so much fun not to watch no it'd be terrifying to play yes and you got a raw you thought kickoffs were bad now yeah oh, that'd be oh baby that would be very scary that's maybe true. that's the two worst teams have to play a game of blindfolded football as punishment and you have ear like <clears throat> right noise canceling headphones yeah and so like they're calling audibles nobody can hear nobody knows when they're hiking the ball hmm and then, if you remove scent, I don't know what that does. I don't but either. It does. Sure. A lot it's of guys do play by smell, so sure. You played by company. smell. Everybody, a lot of guys, they, they yeah. sniff out the competition. Mm -hmm. I like that. I like that. Hey, Texans did well. Texans did well. Oh my God, no! My my collective brain would just melt out of my ears. Yeah, so I have no interest. Now, if we want to send them to the Komodo Dragon Island to have that debate, sure, all about it, all about Bam. it. Hey, listen, it's got the stuff. It's got the stuff. It's got a kick to it. A little too many hops. Come here. All right, I think you went through all your rules, didn't you? Yeah, I think so. You're, you're, but it's like I'm done now. We somehow did it. We did it when there's like no, because we talk. Well, she writes it. We'll see. Yeah, if he's involved with that, that's a guard. That's just bad. It's honestly like horrible. Yeah. Should not be doing that. Doesn't and... look good. But like, let me see the whole story first. Yeah. Yeah. I've learned. On the road. All right, listen. This was given to me by Thomas from years ago. Or was it like by years ago? I mean, last year. Got set in the middle. Look, it's got T Rex on the back, too. We rock it, baby. We rock it. Feel better. Feel better. The horse from Family Guy. Hmm. Hmm. I don't. I don't know that one. Hmm. Hmm. Switch their clothes. Hey. Hey. Brand, what do you got coming out today? You got winners and losers. Yeah, I should have winners and losers from UFL Week One. Okay. And tomorrow should have my uh, Michael Penix episode up. I will never stop being. I think I'm thinking about calling it Big Penix Energy. Is that a good title? That is a good energy. Is that a, that's, that's a good title? I said that's a good energy. It is you good energy. You said that's good energy. That's, that's good. It's good I know energy. what you meant. It is. <clears throat> yeah. 
<laughs> they'd still lose against the Dolphins. They'd still lose. Yeah, I'll have a video come out today. It's either going to be a skit or a reaction vid for uh, one of the teams. I haven't decided yet. I'll be at Raw tonight. Maybe you'll see me. I'm not on hard cam, but I'm near where you walk up the steps. For nice. Some. Nice. I'm gonna, I have to try to find that Punisher because I got to freaking find it. I can't believe you've lost that. It's uh, somewhere in the house. I just don't know where it is. Probably one of your dog beds. See, people are starting to like it. You got to catch the eagle. You got to catch the bald eagle. What if it's just whatever quarterback's first to throw the football and hit the eagle out I of the sky? I just said we're not hurting the eagle, Brandon. No. What if we breed a bunch of eagles specifically to hurt? No. That's <laughs> not okay. That's pretty on point for America, though. CFL does use a Canadian. goes, it is. That, that is pretty on point. <laughs> what, what if we do this just to inflict pain? Ooh. Okay. Ooh. What do you? Oh, yeah. Okay. Sketch, skit. Yeah, one of those. First uh, touch. Yeah, that was uh, that in case like one of the teams touches it like on a kickoff like or and the uh, receiving team, right? They can't pick it up afterwards or after it's been touched and run it back. Like if it's not recovered quickly or fairly, I think. I don't know. It was something like that. We right. kind of know. I don't know. We, we kind of know. Maybe. <laughs> Ooh, we'll find out week one. I do like that. I I'll take a super ref and just. Oh, yes. That would be great. Brandon Perna is the super ref, by the way. Yeah. That'd be great. I I agree with that one, Tristan. I agree. I agree. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, Brandon. Stop hurting eagles. I know you hate birds, but no. No. But folks, we appreciate you. When Stop are we going to be back? I don't know. <laughs> Wednesday or Friday. We'll see. Yeah, we'll do one of them. We'll do one of them. I like that super ref. I do. But we appreciate you, folks. We hope you enjoy the day. Uh, we'll both have some videos be uh, coming out. But I'm Tom Grassi. That's Brandon Perna. This is GPS. And you have been navigated to catch the Golden Eagle. Oh. And you reached your destination?